Having a love affair with two partners at the same time might be impossible, but having a sexual relationship with two partners at the same time is not that difficult at all. The man who claimed to love two women equally at the same time was a liar, whereas the man who maintained sexual relations with another woman besides his girlfriend or wife would be called a cheater. The woman who was having sexual relations with two men at the same time would ironically be called a whore whereas the woman who had a love affair with two men at the same time would be called a cheater. Ethically speaking, having two love affairs or more than one sexual partner at the same time was considered morally wrong and loving them equally was practically impossible, but let's not get into that. There are enough cases of polygamy and polyandry in our recent world history to make arguments in either case. As we have seen already, as soon as Rahul decided to marry an Indian girl he ditched his white girlfriend. Nevertheless, Jimmy was able to manage two wives at the same time and was maintaining his relations with both for quite a long time. In the beginning, Jimmy was able to hide his secret love affair with his new young girlfriend from his first wife. However, his wife began to suspect that her husband had begun another love interest. First, she began to feel his passion for sex was waning. She had to do many things to stimulate him sexually and get his attention. Even then, the act of lovemaking seemed like a chore or a heavy burden to him. Jimmy made hundreds of excuses to avoid having sex with his wife. He claimed that she and he were coming along in age and hence sex wasn't all that important. Moreover, he claimed that they had grown up children still at home and therefore they should be careful having sex in the house. Jimmy claimed many times that his work was making him very stressful and tired and hence he needed to have a good night's rest. He asserted that sex would destroy his vitality and render him physically incapable of doing his best during his days at work. Jimmy, with the help of numerous excuses, began to gradually taper off his sexual activity with his first wife. It went from three times in seven days to only once a week and there to once a fortnight. Eventually their intimacy declined to only once a month and from that point on, it became a very rare occurrence. On the other hand, Jimmy's sexual activity with his young, beautiful girlfriend was improving day by day. A day did not pass when the two of them did not end up making love. However, love and sex weren't enough for Jimmy. He was petrified that eventually his young girlfriend might forsake him one day and move on to a younger, more attractive guy, when essentially she was done with him. To safeguard his new acquisition, Jimmy decided it was imperative to wed his young girlfriend. It could only help that she was pregnant with his child. Jimmy knew that the secular law of marriage and divorce in the USA might deprive him of his two young sons and give custody to his first wife if he decided to divorce her. He wanted to keep his wife and family and at the same time he wanted to marry another woman. Simple logic dictated that in order to keep his sons he had to keep his first wife too. Jimmy knew that American secular law would not allow him to keep his first wife and marry another woman at the same time. However, he understood that according to the laws of his religion, he was allowed to keep his first wife and marry another woman at the same time. Marrying two women at the same time was legally unacceptable under secular law, but perfectly within his Muslim rights. Jimmy consulted the imam of his mosque about his problem. The imam advised him to keep his first wife and children and marry his new girlfriend. He assured him that many Muslim men did the same thing in the West. Nonetheless, he warned him from revealing his second marriage to his first wife or anyone else. He told him he should keep it between Allah, his new wife, and himself. The Imam knew that the second marriage of Jimmy was illegal in the USA and might send him and Jimmy behind bars. Therefore, he conducted the second marriage in full secrecy. He came to the apartment of the new fiancé with two Muslim men as witnesses. After performing the marriage, the newly wedded couple took the Imam and the two male witnesses for a lunch in a beautiful Indian eatery. After the lunch, Jimmy and his young bride stayed for three days in a five-star hotel and celebrated their honeymoon. After getting married, Jimmy became aware that he had married one of the richest girls in the world or at least in the country of India. His new bride did not tell him of her great fortune until he married her. 
As soon as they got married she revealed her great treasure and promised to enjoy it with him. She decided to buy her own house, car, and many luxurious items. Jimmy was well pleased, to say the least. After that, the couple lived in a palace made of silver and gold. They enjoyed every minute and every day of their life together. After revealing her great treasure, the second wife stopped Jimmy from working. She made up for his lack of work by transferring a lump sum each month into his bank account to give to his first wife. She made him lie to his first wife and say that he was still driving and taking on more hours to make extra money. The result was that Jimmy and his second wife were now living a life of moneyed leisure. Their happiness continued until their first child was born. Jimmy's second wife delivered a baby girl and she named her after her biological mother, Rahana. The second wife had not seen her mother for many years. The last time she saw her mother was when she was a little girl of only seven years old. They inadvertently made a small mistake when registering the child's birth at the hospital. Both parents entered their own addresses. The father used the address on his driver's license and the mother gave the hospital her home address. Jimmy's address happened to be the home of his first wife. This was not an issue for American policy and procedures. In America, a girl could conceive and deliver a baby while she was still unmarried and staying in her parents' house. In the Middle East and some Muslim countries such a girl would be slain by her family in an honor killing before her baby was born. Anyway, the problem started when the State Department of Vital Records sent copies of the birth certificate to both addresses listed on the application of live birth. One copy of the baby's birth certificate went to the mother's address and another copy was sent to the father's address. Jimmy's first wife did not know that her husband had married another woman until the birth certificate of the newborn baby infant arrived at her house. The baby girl's birth certificate also listed the details of the mother's name and address. Therefore, the first wife learned of her husband's indiscretion having cheated on her with another woman listed on the certificate as his wife. The second wife named in the certificate was Aphrodite Krishna Khan and 20 years younger than her husband. She could not believe her eyes staring at the information in her hands. She fell to the floor and began crying like a baby. She had never expected her loving husband would cheat on her after they lived together for so many years and had children together. What troubled her more was that she thought her husband had married a Hindu girl. The first two names of the second wife convinced her that the girl could not be Muslim. She knew that no Muslim Indian would ever give their child a Christian or Hindu name. She concluded the second wife's last name, Khan, was the result of her marriage to her husband Jamal Khan. The birth certificate provided much information about the second wife like her hair color, nationality, and eye color which could have described the first wife, only a younger version. Yet, still it did not reveal whether she was beautiful or not. Her husband used to always say to her and in front of others that he had married the most beautiful woman in the world. However, for over a year, he had stopped praising her beauty. The same day the first wife came to know about the second marriage of her husband, she confronted him and they had big fight. At first, she threatened to take him to court if he did not divorce his second wife and cut off his relationship with her. When after her ultimatum, he continued in his indecisiveness, she decided to divorce him and sue for custody of the children. However, before making such a crucial decision, she consulted some religious elders in her Muslim community. The elders rebuked her and told that if she divorced her husband for having a second wife, she would be violating the laws of the Holy Quran and the Blessed Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad PBUH. She changed her mind especially when her husband appealed to her not to go through with the divorce and that he still loved her and promised to keep his relationship with his second wife to a minimum and spend most of his time with her. Therefore. The first wife changed her mind because she knew that her religion allowed her husband to have two wives at the same time. She thought that she would be the loser if she divorced her husband and allowed the second wife to have him all the time. She was concerned that at her age, she might not find someone else from her community to marry her. Besides that, 
she would be left to finish bringing up their children all alone which would be a heavy responsibility for her. Carefully considering all the options before her, the first wife accepted her kismet for the future and for all parties involved and allowed her husband to continue his relationship with his second wife. Many Muslims are forced by their religion and circumstances to continue living in polygamous marriages in the West. Such wives would not find other men from their Muslim community to marry them and none of them would agree to fall in love and have white boyfriend or marry someone who wasn't a Muslim. Therefore, being confronted with the uncertainty of their situation they would prefer to have a polygamist husband rather than remain single all the rest of her life. 